Hello everyone, my name is Bree, and welcome to Documented Journey. I just kind of wanted to chat with you guys. Uh, lately, I have been having a lot of different things going on in my life, and I haven't really been sketching much. I have definitely been journaling, but I haven't been sketching, and I do find that there are times where one gives more than the other. So my illustrated journal has been I would say neglected more or less than my written journal and that's okay. Um, I I love drawing. I just am not very inspired lately and if there is a time where I want to draw something and I just don't know what it is, I normally end up, my go-to place to find inspiration or something to draw is Instagram and there is a challenge put on every month by Mitz and a few other people called the Hobonichi Challenge, and that's pretty much what I do. I just go look at all the challenges throughout the years or the months, and I just pick something off the list. A lot of times I will just draw from this month um, and just pick something off the list. It doesn't have to be that day, um, but yeah, that's kind of what I did here. Um, I just picked something from the challenge and I started trying to put together a layout. Now, with me neglecting my illustrated journal, I will say that I still have been drawing. I just haven't been drawing in this particular journal. <laughs> so I did get my iPad and I have been doing a few um, designs for some other people. Um, they kind of like are paying me. And so I have been using my creative juices, I guess, more towards that. Um, I also have been making a lot of stickers for my Etsy shop, again, all on my iPad. So I would say that even though I am not drawing in this every day, I still am drawing. I am also drawing in my Hobonichi, uh, my journal. I draw probably a little bit of something every other day in there. Um, I'm really liking the A4 six size but I probably should make a video on you know how I feel about the Hobonichi so um, that will probably be coming soon but anyway so needless to say I have been drawing it's just this particular journal is being neglected so I'm okay with that it's just a season in my life at the moment um, I am trying to work through some different uh, supplies, meaning this ball, these ballpoint pens. You saw me use probably three different ballpoint pens or two different ballpoint pens in this video. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what pen I like, and I keep going back to the Bic, and I just wish that the Bic would make an archival ink because, oh man, I do have a archival ink that I bought off of Amazon that I'm trying to kind of feel out um, but it's just I don't know it's a slow process so uh, that will be coming soon to you guys probably in April that way it gives me some time to actually like you know figure out what's going on with that
sometimes when I am in a little bit of a journaling slump or I'm just not interested in journaling, I love to hear what other people are using. Sometimes that can spark some creativity in me or desire to get back at it. So in the comments below, will you let me know what you are using, what you're loving? Um, that way I can, if something kind of sparks my interest, then I can check it out. I will say that I am extremely excited about the pocket palette uh, that I recently got. I have a review video and I have like me filling my palette. It's the last two videos. I'll link them in the description box for you. But I absolutely love the pocket palette. It is the perfect size for me. I love to have everything simple. I love to have everything in the smallest bag possible. Um, I normally just carry one brush and that little pocket palette is the perfect size to just throw in my bag along with this tiny little notebook that is field note size. Um, I get a lot of people saying that they don't think that my notebook is field note size. Uh, they just always ask me what size it actually is. Can I measure it for them? And I think that is so funny because um, I was intimidated by the size at first, but now I couldn't imagine going any bigger. It's like the absolute perfect size to just do a small, like this double spread probably took me 30 minutes to pen and ink it and then five minutes to paint the background. So it's the perfect size. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit chatty for me, um, but I i don't know. I've just been kind of going through something, so I'm trying to get out of it and get inspired. So please help me. Help me in the comments below. And until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.